If we don't address inequality, we face tremendous risks. And I'm talking about all of society, not just the poor and the disadvantaged. Our work on economic opportunity is connecting the conversation about economies, who they work for, and what it means to make capitalism inclusive. We're connecting that to the new urban agenda because inclusive growth turns out to be the one viable recipe, but for a long time we've been told you could either choose inclusion or growth. You couldn't have the two. Now it's clear that that wasn't the case. When I think about the economic opportunities of cities, I think primarily of women because the majority of what we call informal economy workers are women. You not only empower individual women, but you change the whole nature of the structure of power relations. And that ensures that women, as much as men, have equal opportunities. That in turn will provide them with opportunities to be more viably employed. The informal sector forms a, a very important role in, uh, when it comes to the economic growth of every country because we contribute uh, a lot to our economy and we also create jobs for our members. So if we are included and we all work together, we make a good city. To create an opportunity for all in cities and to create that urban future we need, a number of key players have to play a lead role. To be successful in this area, uh, you really need a lot of engagement. You need to involve civil society. Political leadership. Employers. Artists. Your major institutions in a given community. We need more players to understand why it is in their interest to care about this, to make cities work for everybody. When I get home, I'm going to call a mass meeting for all my vendors and uh, I'm going to inform them how we need to form part of this new urban agenda. And I will tell them I need to be inclusive, that we all need to work along with government and that of the local government to make this urban agenda implemented.